watch this. I could say, hi, Skype. Wave, everybody. And then they don't wave. Yeah, they they're, they're having a peaceful city. Yeah, so they're there like, all right, sure, all right. Behind Those aren't hacked starters. nanny cams, as many people think. People came here for H1Z1 news, and gosh dang it if we're not going to give it to them. Uh, first off, the internet uh, picked up this story today. I mean, mm -hmm. President John Smiley of Sony Online Entertainment tweeted out that tomorrow, or yesterday tweeted out that tomorrow there's going to be special gameplay footage. And gosh dang it if we weren't lucky enough to have that. Yeah, we were about three months ago at Smed's office just hanging out like we always do. And he's like, hey, I want you guys to come check out some cool stuff on my computer. And we're like, oh, awesome. What can this be? Turns out it was this awesome zombie game. This was unscripted, unprompted. It was shot with Paul on the camera. Yeah. So the footage uh, yeah, is yeah, not professional. It looks framed. like a German cinematographer. Uh, but you do see some cool gameplay and you watch Smed talk about the game. And why don't we just show you guys what he did? This is five minutes long. Yeah. And then uh, I think we might have Smed here after that to ask, uh, we can ask him some questions. Yeah, to get his reaction. We're here at the EverQuest next uh, launch party that's happening here and this is uh, what's the date January 31st Smed comes up and says hey do you want to see something you've never seen before this is gonna be awesome comes up to his office and now he's showing us a game that we can't talk about till sometime in well, a month from now yeah roughly a month from now yeah this is h1z1 we took out the name apocalypse so this is what we find in your office computer this kind of cool stuff yeah h1z1 is a MMO that allows players to take on the role of a um, apocalypse survivor who is in a world that's filled with zombies. A world, not just a little tiny server, a world where people yeah. can actually, in a world. Um, oh. Hold on, they're gonna kill me. We don't have the zombie sounds in yet, we only have uh, one type of zombie, but all the other ones are, are in the middle of being done. Well, that would work if you're in France because all the zombies would be mimes. Ooh, really? Seriously, man? I mean, that's a, that's a top-notch idea. <laughs> when it gets to nighttime, this is a scary place because the zombies come out and, yeah. and you can get ganked by zombies very fast. But zombies aren't scary. People are scary. Yeah, yeah. I'll you know? give you another tip before we go. You license the Houdini song, The Freaks Come Out at Night. And when you play the night mode, that song plays, The Freaks Come Out at Night. Okay, I'll the have to look up that song because I do night. not know it. Like, we could show us some footage of the, the night time, and I'll put the, the music under it and show you how it would work. That is scary. This game can be scary, can it? That's the point. Yeah, it's, it's like when you see a zombie coming up at you in with nothing out, there's a highway flare. Yeah. But here's something else that you're going to be able to do that you can't do in these other games. Light things on fire. We're in the middle of putting that in now, so you're going to be able to burn down trees, burn down stuff, yeah. and that's going to be a lot of fun. The idea of these players building this fortress, and all of a sudden these other guys coming in, lighting it on fire, and waiting until they come out of the fortress. I like that he keeps uh, lighting his farts. Yeah, that's that's actually <laughs> that was you know that was hard to get right the first time, but we did it. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> please continue. It's <laughs> no problem. Yeah, it's pretty fast too. Oh yeah, we modified the Planet Side 2 engine. Yeah, um, this is your own engine, I remember. Oh yeah. yeah, oh yeah, no, it's called Forge Light. We do our own stuff. We've been having so much fun with this game. Um, I mean, look at the world, it's just gorgeous. There's a day-night cycle that goes through this game. Oh God, yeah, but in, in this game, it matters a lot more than in others because uh, it gets really dark at night and you have to have a torch and you're gonna be ganked by other players. So we've got vehicles in here. Um, we can actually add aircraft if we want to. Our goal is to build out this entire massive, massive world that's just this apocalypse yeah. of the United States where people are fighting each other, they're fighting for survival, we have base building. And this game is going to be um, our first game that we're putting out that, that we call with Emergent AI, where the zombies themselves <laughs> have their in own individual AI. They're not, um, they're not on some pre-programmed script, they actually think for themselves. Now, this, so it's not the same experience over and over. Oh no no yeah. no no! It's it's radically different. And you can loot stores. You can you know you can build fortresses. What you're seeing in some of these other survival games taken to the next level because we have an engine that can just outperform anything um, that that I've seen in these other games. We're a milestone away right now from a whole bunch more zombies and a whole bunch more content. But what we're trying to do with the world in this game is build a much larger persistent world than you've ever seen in any of these kind of you know DayZ or Rust. Yeah where you can build persistent fortresses, uh, players can you know, raid each other, and if you think of Walking Dead, if you think of that town um, and the prison, you know, that's the kind of, we want these camps fighting with each other. Old cars laying around, and yeah. I mean, they're junkers, right? It's 15 years after yeah. the zombie apocalypse, so you're going to have to find a new battery. You're probably gonna have to charge it. Maybe you have to wait for a lightning storm or something. Um, you're gonna have to find spark plugs. Yeah. You're gonna have to find biodiesel for fuel or make it. 
I mean, we are, we're taking this survival genre to the next level and it's gonna be a blast. Let me, let me, hello. You are literally like a giant child video game loving kid. Oh yes I do. Oh, and yeah. I love making them too. Dude, like Bill Gates, you don't get the sense that dude games. Or someone like some of these other CEOs. I would trade being um, Bill Gates for being a child loving kid because I would just become Bill Gates that likes games. I would God, just what game. would you do if you had like billions of dollars to spend on a game? You would make a holodeck. I would. Yeah. I would. We could Kickstarter that. One billion dollars, Smed will make a holodeck. You know the sad thing is, is I think if you put a holodeck up on Kickstarter, there would be enough people to fund it. Thank you, Thank Smed. You. I really Thanks for coming appreciate in. it. All right. It's fun to be able to show this thing. We're right. excited about it. Now let's go get me some free uh, station cash for Planet Side. Whew. That's important to get that station yeah. cash. It's like stocking uh, stuffers every yeah. time Todd goes to Sony online. Yeah, so that was just this random uh, thing that we did when we went to Sony uh, for the EverQuest Next launch event. And Smed was kind enough to drag us up to his office and show us that. Yeah. So thank you very much. And he's kind enough to join us now. Uh, President uh, John Smedley, Sony Online Entertainment. Can you hear us right now, John? I can. Can you hear me okay? Yeah, yeah we great. Thank God, you. It's working. All right, I tell you right what, on. we're cooking with gas here. All right. Well, thank you very much for joining us and allowing us to debut this footage here. Hey, Smed, I brought my show buddy, too. Yeah, that's right. Everyone has their wingman. Because a lot of people play Planet Side 2 right now, uh, what's the, if you had to scale uh, this particular game that's coming out and compare it to Planet Side 2 in terms of size, is it going to be larger or about the same size as uh, Planet Side 2? Orders of magnitude. Orders of magnitude bigger. Yes. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. Right. That's pretty big. That's pretty Planet big. Side's yeah. really huge. It's going to be a free to play game. Um, not a pay-to-win game. Um, you are going to have uh, an early access, you know, for like twenty bucks. You'll be able to, you'll be able to uh, get in the game if you want to help us check it out. If people want more information on, on when to sign up for either Better and Alpha. Where would they go right now? So right now, um, my first piece of advice, if you want to find out more about the game, uh, in the subreddit, H one Z one subreddit, I just did a post that explains the game in much more detail. And uh, the team is going to be answering a lot of questions there. So I'd encourage them to do that. We aren't ready to announce uh, when we're going to start letting people in just yet. But here's what I'll say. I won't give specifics, but our goal is the next four to six weeks. Okay. Four to six that's weeks. And soon. that's for uh, anyone to play it or just people that sign up? Um, well, that will be for anyone. What, what happens when you die in this game? What happens when you die in this game? Well, um, in the current version right now, you die and you respawn. And your corpse is there with all your shit on it. <laughs> there you go. That's a quote for uh, now, Game Informer, yeah, right? There. Yeah. <laughs> if that isn't a PvPer's dream, I don't know what is. Yeah. yeah. Okay. What was the other person that had a question in Skype? Actually, uh, this is a question from chat. If there's going to be any type of crafting. This game has one of the deepest crafting systems I've seen in any game. Actually, if I were to pick one pillar of the game, I would say crafting is probably um, it you want a vehicle, you're going to have to find a dead battery. You're going to have to refill the cell. You're going to have to find spark plugs. We're not screwing around. This is going to be a hard, hard game. And if yeah. people don't like games, don't play this game. This is a very, very challenging game. If you don't like hard games, this isn't going to be for you. Yeah, if you like Dark Souls, this is your kind of game. Okay. Is there going to be any like competitive aspect to it? You said it was going to be PvP. Is there going to be any leaderboards, any challenges, anything? Oh, there'll be aspect. leaderboards, sure. That yeah. kind of stuff. It's not going to be any competitive aspect. Big Boy has Big a very boy. important question, Smed, and I want you to think deeply about this. He's asking, is fire overpowered? At the moment, it is. It's a little insane right now, yeah. yeah we call it the I win <laughs> button, so yeah, we're toning it down, but the problem is the second you put fire into a video game and you can light other people and zombies on fire, yeah, yeah, it's a huge... It's so much fun, though, I can tell you. Can you give us any insight? It might be a little early for this, but on PC specs, this is a question that's yeah. been all over the chat. Ruthless2121 is asking, yeah. PC specs. Yeah. Okay, so uh, basically, if it can run Planet Side 2, it can definitely run H1Z1 okay. a, a lot faster. Can you talk about the difference between day and night in the game, a couple of the different features, or how that, game, that uh, play style works? Our night is very interesting, because we've taken a lot of pain to make it very stylistic it's one of the most fun parts of the game what do you think it's it's been uh, it's been a lot of tweaking like we started with the dark we've gone back to like what we can kind of see within 30 meter radius and then we decided to see how torches versus flashlights like we're, we've tried everything i think we're in a pretty good spot it's a game changer like it's not one of these games where it's like oh i'm just not gonna play at night it's too dark or i only play at night because i got x item like it's it's gonna be a completely different game it's fun very important question from Ophosius. uh what's your favorite ice cream smed 
Um, I like cookie dough. Wow. Cookie dough. All right. You there you go. Breaking news. All right, Matt put likes it cookie dough. I was going to ask, uh, how does the progression of the game work as far as character oh, progression? I'm glad you asked that question. Yeah. There are no skills in this game. There are no skills in this game. There is no leveling in this game. There's no leveling. <laughs> so you're basically saying this game is it's targeted to players tight. like yeah, me. Yeah. Yeah. Smed, one of our Skype regulars, Therasol, has a question for right. you. It, please try to... Uh, he may sound sarcastic. That's just his normal voice. Go yes. ahead, Therasol. <sighs> Todd, how prevalent is ammo in the game? Mm. We don't know the exact answer to that. The plan is really hard to find, uh, but we may find with the amount of players we initially get in that we need to make it more common. We're going to really tune that around how people think it should be. I mean, we have an initial plan of very scarce, but we'll see how it turns out. And players uh, can also make ammo. Yes, yeah, it's something you can craft as well. Oh, you can make, okay. That our focus is on survival and crafting. And yes, it's an FPS mechanic combat but that does not mean it is an fps because it is not fortunately we've had the chance to really go in depth with this game in, yeah. in a way that no one else has and we're one of the luckiest guys in the net to do that fortunately we've got about one minute left in the program here and i know everybody, everybody has about thousands of questions again the easiest place to go is to hit you up john on uh at jay smelly on twitter but also the h1z1 uh subreddit, subreddit yeah. correct is that where you want people yeah. to go yeah. That's correct. All right. Again, thank you so much for joining us in the program. I know everyone appreciates the Q&A here. This has been great. Yeah. Oh, you got it. Happy to do it. Oh, we and we have commented on the PlayStation 4. It's yeah. not decided so, yet, from yeah. what I understood. We're going to have a recap. Well, go ahead. It's decided. Yeah. Oh, it is yeah. decided. Yeah. Okay, well, so, there you go. So, more to follow on that. Again, the links are on the Twitter if you guys want to follow along. We're going to put a recap of this episode up on our YouTube channel if you guys just jumped in. So, we're here Monday through Friday, front page of Twitch. Yeah. Uh, GameTalkLive.tv. We do this show every day. Uh, we haven't had a show quite like hey, this yet. Smed and yeah. Jimmy, if you guys want to hang out with us every show, yeah, you're yeah. welcome to. <laughs> this, could be a, <laughs> this could be an ongoing thing. <laughs> no, they're and gone. crickets. The fate of the earth is in my hands. No choice but to take a stand. I don't care if I'm wrong or right. All I do is stand in line. That's awesome.